Hey everybody, it's me, Zanya. Many of you on the Zoom live streams have been noticing my unique squash in the background. And I promised you that I would show you when I cut into it, and that time has come. Now, first of all, what kind of squash is this? Maybe it's a delicata, maybe it's a sweet dumpling. It was in the delicata, also called sweet potato squash bin. Those are long and skinny and long in green stripes. It was in that bin, but I actually do think it's a sweet dumpling. And I think that it just grew very uniquely as a twin. Anyway, I just couldn't help but get it. Now, sometimes I'll try to break the stem away and to get it out of the way, it didn't break down in. So let's just try right down the center and don't be timid. You have to work hard at this. Squash or kind of like that. Aha! Uh -huh. You always want to fight for a, a, a non, non rickety surface. I'm going to try, instead of cutting it this way, I'm going to try cutting it this way. For that reason, I want to go right down the center. And wow, that went there. My oven's hot. Um, look out. One more time. Aha! Uh -huh. I made it through. We're gonna just scoop this out. Squash is loaded with beta carotene, which is an excellent antioxidant. And you know how anti-aging, we want lots of antioxidants. We want antioxidants at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and every snack. Because digesting food requires oxidation. It puts you in an oxidative state. And that's an aging state that is like rust on a car. And you want the Z-Bart or the antioxidant. That's what you want. Now, the cool thing about both delicata and sweet dumpling squash, are you ready for it? Is that the skin is completely edible. And not only is it edible, it's really delicious too. So that's what I think is super exciting about this. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these into this bowl. And the recipe I'm making is a maple garlic roasted squash, perfect for delicata or the sweet dumpling, both very similar. And what's great is you could never skin this and you don't have to. It's gonna be crispy and delicious in contrast to the texture to the inside. Um, you're just not gonna believe it, you're gonna love it. Now, the recipe uh, calls for <laughs> three cups of squash. And I'm gonna count this as a good six. So I've gone ahead and doubled uh, the ingredients. It calls for two tablespoons of olive oil. And this is at eatrealamerica.com. I'll give you the link to the recipe. But the garlic, thyme, and maple together makes this fantastic. We'll go ahead and uh, put these onto our sheet pans. We are gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. Give it a toss. If we think it needs another full 15 minutes, we'll give it another full 15 minutes, sometimes 10, sometimes 15, maybe 20, but we'll see how it comes out. So here we have our maple garlic roasted sweet dumpling squash, and the roast was exactly 30 minutes, and I think that was perfect. And it's time to give this some taste. The skin, the flesh, that is delicious it's you've got to try it all right so see the recipe link give it a try i think you'll love it always remember keep it simple and eat real